All right guys, so it's holiday season and I've been thinking a whole lot about what gifts to get different people. So I've needed to shop for my family, my friends, and one of those people I've had to shop for is my girlfriend, Carly. And so Carly and I live in New York City. I made a video with her, you guys have probably seen it. If you haven't, I'll put it up in one of the corners you guys could check it out. But I've been thinking a lot about what to get Carly and I ended up ultimately landing on a cleaning service or a gift card for a cleaning service so that she could have her apartment cleaned. So Carly really hates when her apartment's dirty. I thought it'd be really nice to get her a gift card so that she could actually have her apartment be clean. And so I ended up going to a site called Handy. And so for those of you guys who don't know, Handy is a cleaning service here in New York City. And you can basically schedule different uh, times and I guess different cleaning types or whatever uh, for people to actually come to your apartment and do like a deep scrub of your room or your bathroom or your whole apartment or what have you. And so I decided to get Carly a three hour cleaning of her apartment. And this is basically what I got as an email. So I purchased a gift card and Handy told me that within a few more hours or within 24 hours, I'd receive an additional email about how to claim my gift card as well as a voucher. And so I ended up getting this email a few hours later. It said, hi Kevin, thank you for purchasing a Handy gift card. To redeem this code, you or your recipient will need to go to handy.com slash gift cards and enter your voucher code. And this was my voucher code, gift5476. So any normal person would probably be like, oh sweet, I got my voucher code, I can actually go schedule my cleaning now. But me being the person that I am and being a software engineer, I looked at this and I was like, wow, that is an absolutely horrendous gift card. I bet you I can write a script to generate gift card codes and basically steal money from Handy. And that's what we're gonna try and do today. Minus the stealing part, because we're just gonna report it to them if it's actually a problem. Um, and so that's what we're gonna try and do, right? I think this is a pretty simple project. I think it's pretty easy and kind of trivial. Um, we'll talk about why this is bad later, but for now, let's actually just try and do it. So the first thing that they tell us is to go to handy.com slash gift cards, and then we can try and validate our current gift card here, which is gift5476. So let's go here, and let's just copy and paste this gift card, and let's see if we can write a script that will basically generate random gift card codes. So basically the word gift and then four <laughs> randomly generated digits and then call their API and see if it's a valid gift card. Um, cool, so first it tells us to enter our zip code, so we'll do that. And now we wanna open our inspector so that we can actually record the request that we're making to their API so that we could use that as a curl in our script that we're gonna write. So now I'm just gonna copy and paste our gift card here, our gift card code, and I'm gonna click redeem. Okay, awesome. And so we get a 200, it looks like from their servers. And the response just says success true redirect slash promo options. Okay, awesome. So it looks like this is actually a valid gift card as we would expect because I literally bought it. <laughs> and now we're going to try and generate new random gift card vouchers and then call their API and actually see if it is valid. So the first thing we want to do is just copy this as a curl. And so for those of you who aren't familiar with curl, this is basically just going to allow us in our script to simulate typing in something to that uh, redeem little text box that we were just on and click the redeem or the apply button, whatever I just clicked. So now we have that as a curl and that's awesome. So now we're actually just going to start writing our script to simulate requesting their API. So to do that, we're going to vim into a file that we're just going to make called handy.sh. And now we just want a loop that's going to infinitely call their API, right? So let's just make sure that we can do that first. So we're going to say while true, do something. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make that curl request, right? So I'm just going to literally paste whatever I got from my, oops, whatever I got from my console there, right? And then I'm just going to write done. Awesome. So within two seconds, we literally have a request to call their API to validate the gift card that we had, right? And we can actually see here, it says voucher code in our payload is gift 5476. So again, really not very secure at all, right? It's not very random. It literally is the word gift and then four randomly generated digits, presumably. So we can do that, right? We're just gonna try and take a variable that is gift and then four randomly generated digits appended to it and then call their API and see if it gives us a su successful response. So now, before we actually run this script, let's just echo out whatever this does, right? So we can actually see in our console what happens. Awesome. Um, so now we're just gonna echo out whatever the response is of this curl. And now to run this script, we need to make it executable. So we're gonna say chmod plus x handy. And now all we actually have to do is run this script. So we can say period slash handy. Okay, so now 
hopefully if, this, if we wrote this correctly, we're just gonna infinitely kind of call their API and like, let's just see how they respond, let's see what they do, and let's just let it run for a second. Okay, cool, so we're actually seeing responses and we can see that it says success true, and that's great. So now we're just gonna, okay, now we see something else, so I'm gonna kill the script. So at first, if we actually look, the first few requests just said success true, success true, success true, success true, blah, 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 which is what we expect, right? We know that the gift card voucher is valid because I literally bought it, and it tells us that in the response, which is great. Now, if I scroll down a little bit more, it's telling us error true, messages, and it tells us a message, two minute request too quickly, wait a minute and try again. So this is actually good on Handy's part, right? Because they don't want someone to actually be able to do what we're doing effectively right now. So we might not be able to. Um, but the thing that's kind of bad is they say, wait a minute, right? So that makes me think that we could literally wait one minute in our script and then just keep doing what we're doing. So I want to verify that that's, that's actually the case. And if it is, we could just add a sleep into our script that will make us artificially just sit there and wait and do nothing for 60 seconds and then try again, presumably with more randomly generated voucher codes and see if any of them actually work. So now, before we actually get into our script again, I'm just gonna take a second and count however many successful calls I got here until we got a two minute request wait a minute. And that will tell me basically how many requests that Handy lets me make in a single minute before they start rate limiting me. So I'm gonna count that and I will be right back. All right guys, so I just counted and it turns out that Handy lets us make about 20 calls per minute. I don't know if that's gonna change or if they're gonna make it stricter if there's like repeat offenses for a specific IP. Let's just see what happens. But now what we wanna do is just edit our script to infinitely do something. And then the thing we want to do now 20 times because of this rate limit is we wanna make that curl request. And then we wanna artificially just sleep for 60 seconds to simulate, uh, you know, like not sitting here and just hitting their API over and over again endlessly. So hopefully that will work. Uh, let's see how they respond. So we'll say handy. And now we just want to edit our script and we just want to write a for loop in bash. I'm no bash wizard, but one way to do it is just like for run in one to 20. So this will let us do something 20 times and we'll just say do, and then we'll jump down here and we'll just say done. Um, and now we just want to also indent this for a second. I don't have my bash or my Vim setting set up, so this is kind of messy. Um, but anyways, okay, so now we're basically gonna do something 20 times, right? So we're gonna say, okay, from line one, infinitely do something, and then infinitely do something, do something 20 times, and all we wanna do 20 times is basically make this curl request, and then after the 20 times, we say we wanna sleep, right? We wanna sleep for 60 seconds. So again, that's just hopefully, fingers crossed, We'll be able to make 20 requests, sleep for 60 seconds, and after the 60 seconds, they won't rate limit us anymore, and we'll be able to keep making requests to their API. Um, so now I'm just gonna see if this actually works. So let's quit this script, let's run it again. We're making 20 requests, so we should never see the actual timeout problem, right? Okay, good. Now we're just sitting here hanging, right? Because our script is actually waiting. And let's actually see if this continues going through. All right, our script should start up here in a second again, I think. I've literally just been sitting here for a six. Oh, and there it goes, okay, awesome. And now we're able to actually make successful responses again, or get successful, successful responses again. Okay, great, so that's basically proof that we can make 20 requests, sleep for 60 seconds, and then make 20 more requests. So they're not, you know, making the rate limiting stricter, even though it's like the same IP, same responses, whatever. Um, so that's good, so that means that we can literally do this. So they're not, increasing or you know making their rate limiting more restrictive so that literally means we can try 20 times 20 randomly generated gift card vouchers wait 60 seconds try 20 more so now we actually need to start generating those random gift card vouchers right so let's go back into our script and i think the first thing we should probably do is we just know that we need a variable um and let's just call it code i guess all right let's just call it gift gift is equal to the string gift because that's not gonna change, right? Uh, it's always gonna be gift and then four random numbers. And now what we want to actually do is inside this loop, we want to generate a four digit number randomly and then just append it to that string. And then the last thing we'll have to do is really just like pass it in here, right? We just need to make sure that we make this a variable so that every single time we make that curl request, we're just gonna pass a different voucher code that we wanna try and see if it's valid. Okay, so again, I'm no 
bash wizard. So I'm going to just try and do some Googling quick and figure out how we can generate a four digit number. So let's see if we can do that. All right, guys, awesome. So I was able to actually generate a four digit number. It looks like Stack Overflow just basically told me um, that I can use this, right? So we're basically taking a thousand. So the starting number is at least a thousand. We're generating a random number, I guess, and it has to be within the range of 8,999 because we added 8,999 and a thousand. The biggest number we can get is 9,999 math. So what this really tells us, right, is there's only 10,000 different combinations, uh, assuming that those are the only gift card codes that they kind of create, right? Gift and then four random numbers. That means that there's literally 10,000 possibilities. So like that's easily brute forceable in a script. Um, so now we actually have four random digits that we could append to the word gift. And now all we need to do is append it to gift. So I'm again, I think it's this. I think we could do gift equals gift, oh, I don't know if this is going to work, gift, and then digits, I think. Let's just try echoing that. Okay, that kind of works, but it looks like somehow I'm not generating a, I think it's, oh, it looks like it's constantly appending four more random digits. Okay, so something is slightly off with this script, it looks like. So let's see if we can fix this. I'll be right back. All right guys, so I think I got it. So now we are basically just going to, instead of creating a variable that just says GIF, we're just gonna hard code it. So we just have GIF now, G-I-F-T, and then we're basically going, going to just append our digits that we randomly generated. So now we have the word GIF, we're gonna append four random digits, and now if we just try running our script here, we can actually see that we're generating those random uh, GIF card vouchers. And so now the last step really is just to try and take that variable and just plop it into our curl request here in the payload as a variable, right? Because we want to actually request, make the request with a new uh, voucher code that we're randomly generating every single time, and then see what we get back as a response. So now I'm going to take a second, Google around as every engineer does for every single day of their life, and see if I can figure out a way to put this voucher code into the curl request as a variable. All right, guys, so I think I got that working, so that's great, too. So now we actually are doing what we just said, right? So we're generating four random digits, then we're appending that those four random digits to the word gift, and we're just creating a variable called voucher code. And then below in the curl request, we're actually just high, uh, passing it as a variable, right? So now we are hopefully going to make that API request too handy with that randomly generated voucher code. And so now just to put a little bit of logging in here, I'm just going to say echo um, making API request to handy with voucher code uh, voucher code. And let's see what happens when we run our script. So just at a glance, it looks like we are actually calling their API successfully. Okay, great, so this is really good. So now I'm just gonna let our script run for a minute and I'm gonna, I don't know, let it run for a little while and just like kind of see what happens and I'll report back when I let it run for a little bit. All right guys, so I killed the script and I let it run for like maybe three minutes or something and I think it's actually working, which is hilarious. So <laughs> it literally took like three minutes to do this. Uh, so if we actually search, right, like if we just look at this first request, give 3317, we get a success false, right? So apparently that gift card is not 
valid. So now let's just search true. And we actually get true responses from their API. And this is gift 9956, right? So we're gonna actually go and try that on their website now. Um, so I just said gif, uh, gif 9956, right? That's what we're gonna try. My gift was, or voucher code was gift 5476. So it's not the same. So we're entering gift 9956. And the reason that we're doing that is because the API response came back as true, right? Success true. So that means that that voucher code is actually valid. So now let's redeem our voucher code. And as you can tell, we literally get through. So now we have a free cleaning apparently, thanks to Handy. If we actually choose our time here now, December 14th at 3 p.m., it looks like we could literally check out uh, for nothing. Ah, oh, get out of here, honey. Honey, I don't need you. I literally saved all the money. Um, and literally this is it. So I wrote a, okay, wow, that's insane. So we literally could check out with this right now for $0. Um, and literally all I'd have to do, I guess, is actually click complete booking and I understand to their terms and conditions and whatnot. Um, but I'm not gonna do that because one, that's wrong. That's terrible, I'm not gonna do that. Two, I think it actually would be taking a voucher code away from someone else. They probably generated this voucher code for someone else the same way that they did for me when I bought a gift card. Um, and so I'm probably stealing someone else's voucher code. Uh, on top of that, I'm just gonna report it to Handy and I'm not gonna upload this until that they uh, hopefully respond and I've given them like an adequate amount of time to actually make a fix for this. But I thought this was like a super interesting thing to try and it didn't end up being that hard either. Um, but security is obviously super important here. And this is one thing that they didn't do super well. Um, so for rate limiting, it's good that they're rate limiting, but you should probably have stricter rate limiting in place in case the same IP actually ends up coming back and, you know, doing exactly what we did with like a bash script. Um, on top of that, you could also just like ban those IPs if you wanted to. Um, or you could just like make stronger gift card codes, which I think is really the answer here. Uh, ideally, you should probably have both. You should have like strict rate limiting and eventually like ban people or ban IPs or maybe even accounts if you really have to. Um, but furthermore, you should really have like truly random gift cards. Like your gift card code shouldn't be gift and then four random digits. It should be, you know, a ton of random characters and digits so that, you know, the, the quite literally the longer your gift card code is, the, the lower probability that someone can run a script and do this. That's it. I'm going to report this to Handy now. I'm not going to upload this until they like fix it or I've given them an adequate amount of time to fix this. And if they don't, I feel like that's crazy. I guess I'll just have my apartment clean for free forever. Um, but yeah, I'm going to report this to them and then I will catch you guys and I will finish this video when I actually have it reported to them and I'll show you guys what they say.